Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to take you through the craziest quad day. I want to say it is my favorite and best quad day that I have done to date. It will make you sore for days after. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, first exercise is going to be a heel elevated Smith squat. And we're gonna be using these wedges to put underneath my heels. But if you don't have this, you can definitely just swap for a plate or something that'll just give you that elevation underneath your heel. So how you wanna position the pads is you wanna have the pads kind of angled outwards instead of completely parallel. And as you pick up the bar, you're gonna pinch your shoulder blades together, resting the bar onto the back muscles instead of your back bone, your back spine. And you're gonna lift up, rest it on those muscles. And then you're gonna sink down, letting your glutes drop as low as you can without giving into a butt wink. And then you're gonna push back up, focusing on your quads to lift you back up. So I'm gonna do 10 to 12 reps with the weight. Once I'm done that set, I'm gonna put the weight down and then go right into body weight, heel elevated squats. And I'm gonna aim for 10 to 12 reps on that. So let's start off with a warm up, and then we'll get into our working sets. We're gonna aim for 10 to 12 reps. Let's go. Drop it and go right into body weight. The key focus with both of these is gonna be slowing your movement. So you don't wanna go too, too fast. You really wanna focus on increasing the time under tension. So make sure you're taking your time as you go down and up for both weighted and body weight. Nine and 10. And that was just a warm up. Let's increase the weight. Holy shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> Ow. Every part of that was painful. Guys, my legs, my legs are jelly. Going into this next exercise, I'm like second guessing every decision I've ever made. I gotta take this sweater off. I'm dripping sweat already. All right, next up we got reverse lunges. Four sets, 10 to 12 reps per leg. How we're gonna focus on making sure that the quads are focused in this exercise. We're gonna start with one foot forward, one foot hovering. We're gonna push that hovering foot back. Usually we're more prone to keeping our torsos leaning forward, but that's to target the glutes. To target the quads, we're gonna be more in an upright position. So as we lower down, we're more upright than lean forward for the glutes. So upright, and as we push up, make sure that we are only using that front leg to do all the movement. The back leg is just there for support. So as we push up, make sure all the weight is on that dominant foot and we're back up to position. So let's try it again. Keeping it somewhat upright, our torso. Push up, only using this one, the one that's standing. This one is just for support. And we're gonna keep going like that for 10 to 12 reps. Again, we're gonna do one warm up set paired with three working sets. So I'll start off with a lighter weight and then move up to the more heavier weight as we go.
every single time I'm just like, do we have to up the weight? Do we really? The answer is always yes. I hate them. Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh. Reverse lunges are in the same category to me as split squats. I hate them both equally. We're done with that. Next up, we got quad extensions. Again, we're gonna be doing this for four sets, one warm-up set and three working sets. So we're gonna increase the weight for those working sets. The two things that I like to know about quad extensions is number one, you wanna keep your feet relatively light. So you don't wanna have them flexed, creating tension in the calves. Instead, you wanna focus all your tension, all your mind muscle connection on your quads. So keep those feet relatively light, don't flex them. And then the second point, when you extend up, you want to contract at the top, bring it up, contract, brief hold at the top. And then as you go down, you want to really control that movement. You don't want to bring it down all the way too fast because then you're just losing the tension on your quads. So make sure you bring it up, slow pause at the top, and then slow on the way down. Bring it up, pause at the top, and control the way down. Okay, final exercise to finish it all off, which, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This fly just wanted a piece of me. All right, final exercise, we're gonna do dumbbell squats, which this is gonna ruin my legs. Putting this at the end of any workout is gonna ruin me, so we're gonna do it anyways, of course. We're gonna aim for 10 to 12 reps of this. Again, one warm-up set paired with three working sets, increasing the weight a little bit for every working set. For dumbbell squats, it's kind of similar to a sumo squat, but instead of having our toes completely to the side, we're just gonna have them angled the slightest bit outwards. We're gonna have the dumbbell in between our legs. We're gonna get into a regular squat position, having our torso leaning forward, holding onto that dumbbell. We're going to push up, keeping our knees slightly bent at the top just to make sure that that we are completely under tension the entire way through the movement and then we'll go for the next one and up focusing on your quads to initiate and continue that movement let's go
And that is a wrap on the craziest quad day to date. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you tried it out, let me know how it went. Let me know how you're feeling the next day because I was sore for many days afterwards. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you wanna see in the next video. But until then, I love you so much. Bye.